Hi, I'm Shane. Thanks for hanging out today. I want to show you my new gigging kit that I have assembled from Ludwig Orphan Drums. I always had it in the back of my mind that an ideal gigging kit for me for the kind of stuff I play would be 2012-15, and that's what I've done here. Uh, the kick is 20 by 14, and the rack tom is 12 by 8. Those are both Ludwig standard drums, probably from the early 70s. Three-ply, maple, poplar, mahogany with maple reinforcement rings. The 15-inch floor tom is a converted marching drum. Uh, I'm not sure if it was a marching tom or a marching snare. There's no snare bed on it, uh, but that's possible with the Ludwig super sensitive uh, snare wires that there aren't snare beds on those drums. Uh, and that is a maple poplar maple, I believe. It also has the reinforcement rings. And the snare is also a Ludwig standard, uh, but it's one of the early ones that they chromed instead of doing the brushed aluminum. Uh, so it's basically a Ludwig superphonic shell with only eight lugs, uh, but the shell is the only thing original. I have new lugs, new rims, new throw-offs on that one. For the covering, I use the drum bum wrap, and I really like the product. It's easy to use. You don't have to glue it down. Uh, the bass drum actually didn't take the, the, cover, the original covering off, and it worked just fine. Um, my only problem is that this pattern, the 1966 Oyster, is blurry. I mean, there's no other way to say it. It's not really a sharp, defined uh, pattern, so it looks great from, a f you know, 10 feet away. Uh, but up close, you can definitely tell that it's blurry, and I'm sitting up close all the time, so I can, you know, all the time see it's blurry. Uh, kind of disappointing, but it's possible that's just this pattern, that, you know, the rest of their product line has got, you know, nice sharp edges. I probably should have got uh, samples before I did it, but I, I didn't. I went ahead and just bought this. Uh, so it does look good from a distance, but up close, kind of disappointing. But it was only like $140 uh, for the kick and the rack and the floor. So that's totally reasonable price, and the product works great. It's just, you know, the pattern I don't love. Uh, and I went ahead and used an indie tom mount, which was really expensive. It was like 140 for the, the mount and the piece that goes on the tom. Uh, but it works like a dream. I mean, it's really nice. Uh, it's super solid. Uh, it's got a lot of moving parts. It seems, you know, kind of over-engineered to me. Uh, but I haven't had any problems with it um, other than the fact that it's really complicated. Uh, and it doesn't quite go down as low as I'd want. Um, but I'm, you know, I'm kind of short and I like to sit low. Um, so I'm sure, you know, if you buy this, you'll have no problems with it. Uh, but pretty complicated and kind of expensive, uh, but I didn't want to go with another Ludwig mount. I figured, you know, this would give me a lot of isolation and let the tom sing, which it does. The symbols I'm using are also my gigging symbols. Uh, everything's from Saluda in the Glory line. 20 inch hammered dry ride, 18 inch hammered thin crash, 17 inch jungle crash, which has got uh, tambourine jingles and rivets in it, and my 14 inch medium fusion hats.
far as mics tonight, I have a Shure Beta 52 inside the kick. Uh, it's my standard kick mic. I just got a Solomon Low Freak sub mic. I've also got that on the front. It's a dynamic mic. It's like the Yamaha you know, sub kick. It picks up all those low frequencies. This is my first time trying it, so I'm really excited about that. Uh, on the snare, I have an Earthworks TC20. The toms, I've got Electro Voice ND408s. Overhead, I have an Earthworks SR25. Uh, and for the room mic, I also just got this one today. It's the Behringer B2 Pro, uh, which is super cheap and everyone loves it. So I'm really excited to try that one out. I mean, you can't really, you know, buy this kit, or and it's kind of hard to get this configuration. Uh, so this is just more uh, so you can see what you can do, you know, with an assembled kit uh, rather than something just bought as is. So there you have my Ludwig Franken kit. Uh, the thing I really love about this the most is the 15 inch floor tom. I mean, everybody's heard the 22, 12, 16 uh, set up, but the 16 for me sometimes gets a little big. You know, it doesn't have a lot of tone. I mean, it's good for kind of buildups, but it seems kind of dead in, uh, in fills. So the 15 being a little bit smaller and shallower, still got that tone, but you can still do the, uh, the double handed buildups, you know, at the ends of phrases and songs. It works really well and it's super portable. I take out my uh, Yamaha Crosstown aluminum hardware with this. So the entire kit I can get in two trips. The floor time being shallow, I can put it in the same case with the snare. And uh, this is really a kit that I can take anywhere. I play with like a, a blues band uh, and it's, you know, it's really portable and easy to move around. So I hope you've uh, Enjoyed my little demo of this kit. I want to uh, thank everyone who subscribes to me that watches my videos regularly. And I got a bunch of subscribers, like 18,000 or something. Uh, but there's really a few hundred of you guys that you know watch all the videos, leave comments. So 
for you guys. Thank you. I really appreciate the support over the years. I know I've done some uh, some weird things here and there. I go rock and jazz and funk and all kinds of crazy things. But uh, thanks to all those who have watched my videos, commented. I uh, really appreciate you guys. Go ahead and ask questions, whatever you want. I try to get to everything I can. So once again, I'm Shane. Thanks for hanging out today. Check me out on Instagram. It is redeye underscore percussion. All my social media links are in the uh, description down below the video. Take care.